Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and this is part 5, I think, of our turtle graphics exercise and in this video we're finally going to do our turtle to walk. So we have our, we have our public void walk and we are going to pass a few things. We need to know what directions we go, so we will pass all directions that directions uh, as the as the type of our variable that we are passing and it's gonna be called direction we need to know how many spaces we are walking and we need to know if our pen pen actions is gonna be the type we need to know if the pen is up or down so this is what we need to pass into our uh, walk so um, Uh, the, let's create uh, first let's actually validate it uh, let's make sure that our work is gonna be correct so I already have a, a little uh, I'll prepare the validate move let's just return true for now so it doesn't uh, so doesn't give me the red squiggly because it's expecting a return value of boolean so let's just do if uh, we'll call this method uh, and if that validates okay, if it returns true, then we uh, everything is okay and we can move. Otherwise, uh, we will need to do something else, like display an error message or something. So if the validate move uh, is okay, if it validates, then let's move our turtle. So let's create a variable, I'll call it to draw. And that will equal um, it will equal true or false depending on whether our uh, pen is up or down. So uh, we will do our is the pen pen dot pen actions dot down. So it will basically hold the, the state of our pen. So. Uh, Let me just uh, quickly comment this. Okay, it took a little longer, so I didn't want you to just watch me uh, type it. But anyway, the comment says, and that's how I explain it. Uh, we check if we are just moving or if we, if we are drawing too. If our pen action is down, if it's true, then to draw is set true. Why? Because our to draw equals to this. So this can be either true or false. If pen equals down, if this is true, then our pen equals true. However, if our pen action is up, then pen will equal false. All right, so uh, we will. Uh, that's gonna be our to draw. It will simply hold the value true or false, whether to draw or not. So uh, now to draw our move, if pen is down, we have to determine what direction we move. And then we pass the current position, uh, the number, the, the number of spaces with it, the current position, that uh, should be probably a comma, the number of spaces we move in our constant position. And I'll explain what I mean by constant position. There will be negative one or plus one passed to draw up or left, or negative one, uh, is uh, if it's moving down or right, it's plus one. And again, I'll explain this coordinates thing uh, when it's up and uh, down, when it's negative one and when it's plus one. Otherwise, we would need each function for each direction. Now, I want to make only two functions uh, uh, for the directions. Originally, I wanted only one, but uh, it's probably easier or more readable if it's two of them. So this way we can put north and south why? Because it's up and down into one function and east and west, which is uh, left or right, uh, into another function. So we will need north and south will have one function and east and west will have the other function. Now, what do I mean by the uh, current position and the, you know, uh, the constant position? Now, imagine 
we are here. This is our position. And we move two spaces to the north. Now we are moving uh, only up our column. In other words, uh, that's going to be our uh, Y position doesn't change. All we're changing is our rows because we are moving from this row up to this row, right? However, our column stays the same. We are moving uh, vertically. Or if I wanted to move from this position two spaces to the right to this position, then I'm moving horizontally. Uh, the row keeps is the same and only the columns change. They keep increasing because I'm moving to the right. If I was moving from this position to the left, then I'm decreasing the number of columns because this is our uh, zero zero position here. This is our column zero and row zero. All right. So if we are moving left, then our then we have to uh, decrease our, uh, our position. If we are moving right, we are increasing it because we are. If this is zero, moving to the right means that we are going away from zero. If uh, if we are moving to the left, we are moving closer to zero. And similarly, going up and down. If this is our zero position, which is the north, going to the north is going closer to zero, so we are decreasing uh, our our rows. Or, if we are moving to the south, we are going away from the zero, then we are increasing them. And that's what I mean by uh, this uh, minus one or plus one. Uh, otherwise, I would have to have a, a function just for the north, just for the south, for the east, and for the west. But if I pass negative one or plus one, I can move up or down, or left or right in one function and one method i don't have to do another one so um, hopefully it will become a little more clear uh, when we code this uh, method so let's do a switch direction because that's determining how we are actually moving so um, okay if moving north or south which is up or down we only change rows which is x all right rows are uh, horizontal so that would be would be x and the uh, the column which is y remains constant and that's our constant that we will be passing um, later into the uh, into the function. So, um, but what does that mean uh, as far as the code goes? Well, we have our case, all directions, the directions, and going north. So if we are going north, then. Um, we also need to check whether we are drawing. So if to draw, if it's true, then we will uh, then we will have to update our game board array because we need to uh, draw that array. We need to draw uh, you no know, our walk. If our pen is up, if we are not uh, drawing, then we simply update our x and y coordinates, and that's it. So. Um, so if to draw, we will need to do uh, the update game uh, game board array x, uh, which uh, I don't have coded yet, uh, but I have it to do now. But if not, um, let me just do it this way. Uh, to do, if it's not. Uh, uh, to draw, then we will simply do position x because only x is changing since we are moving north again. We are moving uh, no, vertically, so we are going up. So we do 
our position x minus equals the spaces that we are moving that's gonna be our new position uh, this is not gonna give me this little stubs all right and then we will break now if we do the case all directions that directions and going south it's gonna be similar except uh you know what let me just remove this for now let's just update our position uh, we will do our position x we, we are going down so we are increasing our position x so we will increase it by the spaces directions oh, I think dot south all right so uh, that's our break now if we are moving uh, east or west let me just so it's gonna be east or west which is obviously left all right we only change this is the opposite we only change uh, uh, rows we only change columns oops columns and the the raw which is x oh man it's stupid cursor it's right driving me crazy okay so the raw remains the same all right i just doing these uh all these comments because uh, tomorrow i would not remember what i was doing here and if you download the code and you want to play with it you know it will give you some kind of uh, you know idea what's going on within the code so let's do the case all directions dot directions dot east if this is the case if you go in east then we will do a position y which is the one that's changing so we are going east away from zero so we are increasing by our spaces uh, that we are moving and uh, finally let's do co case all directions directions that west and as you could guess it our position y decreases by the number of spaces we are moving and break Oof. okay so we still have to come back to this because we need to also determine whether we are moving only or we, whether we are actually drawing but uh in order to do that i need to go to uh to our game board and create our uh, we, we have our game board array uh, we are drawing the game board array but uh, we also need to update it and I have it as to do and now it's the time to do it so stick around in the next video and we will move forward a little more all right take care